Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Viviane, and I work for the Brazilian Institute of Geography and Statistics, the IBG. My colleague Graciosa and I are going to present you how the IBG gazetteers have been produced using open source software. Our professional skills involve business related IT activities like producing data models, system requirements specifications, and also some developing in database programming language and Python for QGIS. First of all, Brazil has no National Geographical Names Authority, so we have no national gazetteer. The IBG produces gazetteers of our own base maps. Names can be found in different form in maps by other institutions, for example. The IBG holds a seat in Angagan representing Brazil and is vice chair of the Portuguese speaking division and is the only one of the institutions responsible for the authoritative mapping of the country, which does research, treats, produces, and disseminates toponymic information for the society in general. And we do it according to Ungagan resolutions. We are the only mapping agency to produce gazetteers. As an official mapping agency, the IBGE participates, as well as other mapping institutions, in the establishment of norms, standards, and specifications for geospatial data production, management, and dissemination. Our gazetteers are strongly linked to the process of producing cartographic data. In fact, they are extracted from the cartographic database. We highlight two initiatives that had effects on the Brazilian gazetteers. The first is the Brazilian SDI, Spatial Data Infrastructure, the INDI. The legal framework for the INDI defines it as an integrated set of technologies, policies, coordination, and monitoring mechanisms and procedures, standards and agreements necessary to facilitate another generation, storage, access, sharing, dissemination, and use of geospatial data of federal, state, districtal, and municipal origin, a big scope. The IBGE is responsible for the maintenance of the INGI web portal and is the manager of the geospatial data directory. It includes geoservices and metadata catalogs, besides a map visualization portal and data download services. Every geospatial data produced in IBG is available in the Indie Web Portal as geoservices and their associated metadata or as download files. Brazilian gazetteers have been included last year. Before that, they were made available in the IBG website. The other standard had a deep effect in the way Brazilian gazetteers are produced. It is the specification for structuring the geospatial vector data in Brazil. In Brazilian initials, EDGV. This specification was a collective construction by institutions involved in mapping efforts and is intended to standardize authoritative cartography and to make sharing easier through a common understanding of geographical features. It consists of a conceptual model. In fact, it is a set of object-oriented models that expresses geographical features and their associations. These models are grouped into categories or packages. Each category or package includes classes related to the category subject. The IBGE Cartographic Production Database is an implementation of this specification. So, this is the highest level.
travel model in the DV 3.0 specification. Packages or categories. As I mentioned, there are class models in each one. All models together have hundreds of classes and not all are suitable for all scales. The EGDV itself has a table showing which classes are suitable for each scale. Also, the, e, the IBG has an internal specification which points classes to implement according to our business. Here is a very short picture of hydrography package. Just an illustration. We have implemented classes that are not here, but these are certainly very important classes in our business. That is a convention. Yellow classes are package related and the white ones are from other package, just to show the associations. We see bar of water, drainage, stretch and island. The model tells us by the associations that bar of water contains drainage, stretch and island. Island inherits from natural physiographic element, which was an abstraction created to represent relief elements. An archipelago is an aggregation of islands. In this diagram, we also see the possible geometry type for each class. For example, bar of water is area type. So we have analyzed this conceptual model and created a logical and physical model to implement in a relational database system. The chosen one was Postgres PostGIS and the software that fits it is QGIS. Currently, Postgres PostGIS versions are 11.7 and 2.5. The general rule for database implementation of this model was each class becoming a table, exceptions in case of generalizations. Each table is named as follows. Category initials plus underscore plus class name plus underscore plus geometry type initial. Example in Portuguese. E.g. Trecho drenagem linha which is hydrography, drainage, stretch, and linear type. This is a print of the screen users in the cartographic production usually have while they are working. They can visualize both the geographical aspect and the attributes of the features. Geographical names are the most relevant attribute they feed the database together with other attributes related to geographical names. The source of the name, field work or another geospatial base, and if it is connected to political divisions. The first digital gazetteer was published in 2016 drawing from the cartographical production database we mentioned earlier. So, how did the gazetteers come to life? There was a problem to be solved. There was an old paperback gazetteer issued in 2007 containing the geographical names of the continuous cartographic base map in the millionth scale. And we need the list to address the request of, for the, of the society for an updated gazetteer. The initial idea was to produce gazetteers drawing from the Brazilian Geographical Names Database, BNGB, which is involved in a process of harmonization of names among the base maps in different scales, which is a long-term process. Also, its conceptual model is very complex and name focused, which is different from the one of the base maps, which is feature focused. 
each name in the BNGB is to receive a unique identifier regardless of scale, which makes feeding it far more demanding and time consuming. Also, we knew that no, not all users of this information were familiar with GIS tools. The solution we found was to produce a gazetteer issued together with each of the base maps produced by IBGE in different scales. This is far less time consuming and less complex. Updates occur together with the updates of the base maps, whose frequency is defined by cartography department. We decided to make them available in CSV format, which is com comparable with Excel, which is not a GIS tool and is familiar to many people and with the open source software like QGIS and others, which are popular applications. Our gazetteers have limitations, of course. The most striking of them all is that not all names were treated and revised by the geographical names department as we were a very small staff and we cannot work just as fast as the updates and publications of the base maps. Cons consequently, there were inconsistencies among the names of the gazetteers. The gazetteers are geographical feature oriented and this causes a repetition of names due to the topological model of the layers, especially in hydrography features. The gazetteers published from 2016 to the present moment were the following, as you can see. The smaller scales cover the whole country and the bigger scales cover part of the country. This one cover five units of the federations, the states of Espírito Santo, Rio Grande do Sul, Sergipe, and the state of Goiás and the capital. The other one covers the state of Rio de Janeiro and the state of Santa Catarina. In 2022, we expect to publish an update and a new gazetteer. The gazetteers are structured as follows. Geographical name, EDGV related category, EDGV related class, country, um, units of the federation, Type, sorry, of, sorry. Uh, type of geometry, point line or area, latitude, longitude. The gazetteers are an output of PLPG SQL function developed by us, which reads the cartographic production database features and calculates a representative coordinate for each one. In case of point features, the coordinates are from the point itself. In case of linear features, the coordinates are the midpoints. And in the case of areas, the coordinates are the centroids. Here is how the gazetteer looks in different formats available. This one is the CSV file available in IBG website. And this, uh, the other one is the gazetteer as a geo service available in Indy. The gazetteers may be useful for a lot of things. Recently, the IBGE used it as an input for the preparation of the delimitation of enumeration areas for 2022 census. Also, it can be used as reference for academic work and more 
they can be used as an input for research in many different fields, research on native vegetation, for example. If you filter the gazetteers for the word macaúba, for example, a palm tree from which various products are derived, you will see this geographical name with macaúba as specific terms. Here, we searched the gazetteer of the base map in the millionth scale. On the left, you can see the spatial representation of the search, and on the right, the geographical distribution of the Macaúba in the Brazilian territory, according to a study of the occurrence of this tree in Brazil, carried out by Embrapa, a Brazilian research institute. They match. We realized it may be possible to identify native vegetation of a given area and maybe restore it if this is the case. Finally, the improvements plans for the gazetteers are, in short term, we intend to add a validated status on the gazetteers for names treated by the geographical names department. This attribute already exists in the production database. The geographical names are being analyzed, but there are many names and some of them require deeper research. So not all of them are receiving validated status at the moment, but at least people will be aware of that. Also, we intend to make the links for the gazetteers available on the Portuguese speaking division website, which will be published soon. In long term, we intend to generate the gazetteer drawing from the Brazilian Geographical Names Database web application, which will solve the problem of the repetitions of names. Thank you all for your attention.